So the job market is tight out there. It's competitive. How do you get a leg up on the competition? Not because of your experience, but perhaps because of certain words, keywords, you put in your resume. It's possible that'll help. Bethany Schaefer is a staffing consultant with MPS Group. She talks to hiring managers every day and knows what it takes for job candidates to get noticed. She's here on The Morning Show. Good to have you here. Thank you for having me. Let's start off with a couple of key words that will help you. Resume optimization. Absolutely. Resume optimization is tailoring your resume with target keywords based on the position that you are looking for. Um, today, more and more companies are using what's called an applicant tracking system. And that tracking system uh, finds candidates based on target keywords according to the job that they're looking to fill. All right, let's, let's talk about some of the jobs that they're using, some of the keywords. We're going to put them up on the screen. Let's talk in more generality. It's kind of like doing a Google search. You Absolutely. want to go ahead and narrow the field. So hiring managers are saying, okay, we're looking for marketing managers, administrative assistants, account managers. And if you put these keywords in your resume, boom, you're right. going to pop up on their computers? Absolutely. Um, it is. Just the applicant tracking system is exactly like doing a Google search. You put your keywords in, and, um, you know, whatever search you're doing, Google will then bring up the, re the uh, websites. Well, the applicant tracking system does the same exact thing, except it's bringing up the most relevant resumes according to the job search that the, the hiring manager or the HR professional put into the system. It brings those most relevant resumes up and then it um, ranks them based on keyword relevance. And um, the highest, the most matches of the, the keywords are the candidates that are going to be mostly, you know, probably called for that position. Now when you talk about skills and responsibilities, and we're going to pop up some of those keywords for you right now, it's, it's almost the same thing, but you're using this as an opportunity to tell your potential employer, this is what I can do for you. Right. Your um, skills and responsibilities are the, the meat of your, of your resume. And, you know, I would recommend, um, you know, that you put some industry jargon in there to kind of appeal to the, the hiring manager, the more technical hiring manager. But make sure that you're not only, you know, gearing your resume towards that technical hiring manager, make sure that you take into consideration that, you know, someone else might be reviewing your resume before that technical hiring manager. So put some things on your resume in layman's terms as well. Which really means that you've got to do your homework before Absolutely. you go ahead and put, put that resume out. And you also have to have a resume that can be tailored to a particular employer. So where Absolutely. do you start? I mean, do you start perhaps with the job posting and find out key terms in there that you can use? That's a great question. Um, I would absolutely consider the position that you're applying for. Read the job description before you before you apply. Look in, and see if there's some skill words or some skill sets or key words that are on that job description and make sure absolutely that they are on your resume before you apply to that position. And also know about the company and a bit absolutely. about its history. And right. you know, if you go to some resources like, you know, the Wall Street Journal or Economic Industry Trends and things like that, you can find out what companies are looking for and again, use words that are going to make you stand out. Absolutely. Definitely. A biggest mistake that people make when it comes to sending out a resume. They don't hit spell check. That is, believe it or not, Bruce, that is the biggest um, mistake that I see people make is that they don't simply hit spell check. And, you know, that, that would be my biggest, you know, advice is to make sure before you send your resume out that you hit spell check. Or they have a template and yeah. they forget to fill in dear to whomever. Exactly, exactly. You know, or dear sir or madam. That just right. doesn't apply. Find a particular person and target it. Absolutely. So advice, Bethany, Thank you so much. Show. Thank you. No, no, no. It's time to share the Jack's job of the day. We're listing an available job opening every day here in the morning show. Today's feature is with Rembrandt Remodeling. It's looking for a marketing representative. Jeez, we were just talking about marketing manager being one of those key words. If you want any information about this job or others, you can log on to newsforjacks.com and scroll all the way down to the bottom of the homepage. So, are you moving in with your mates, wondering how you're going to fit everything into one living space? This is sort of the woman telling the guy, I don't like to talk to you. All new at 8, our redesign experts join us live to show how to...